Hey YouTube. So uh been a while since I've done one of these uh, little talks and uh sort of like a pig. Uh, thought I'd uh, just do a topic that uh is pertinent to me. Um maybe you guys out there, young guys coming out of high school. I used to teach uh a lot of drumline stuff, you know, high school kids that uh, were pretty sharp and uh a lot of them wanted to go on and do uh, college drums and things like that. I did. Um, I did a, a one year of uh, college marching band, and uh, it was at a different school than I went to. I went to Berea College, a small liberal arts, uh, hippie kind of college, and uh, had a great experience there. Um, but, you know, it was pretty lacking kind of really in the percussion program. So as far as, like, going to... Uh, to do college drumline, I had to go over to a different... Uh, to Eastern Kentucky University... Uh, which is headed by Jason Kuntz in the percussion program, excellent drummer, great guy. And um, I had fun doing that, and mostly while I was at Berea, I did a lot of uh, African drums, uh, some Ghanaian stuff, djembes, the Pondogo drums, a little bit of Ave drums, as well as your just, you know, um, concert kind of, kind of stuff, you know, like bass drum, snare drum, triangles, all the tiddly bits, tiddly bits, and... Uh, all that shit. So, you know, I uh, I got a good, well-rounded thing you know, over there. I got to do, like, some all-collegiate bands and stuff like that. Pretty fun. Um, but what I recommend uh, young folks go to college uh, these days? Probably not. And, uh, um, you know, there's kind of a thing nowadays where, like, a lot of, like, Republicans are like, uh, oh, college is stupid. Don't you waste your money going to college, you know? And, and people on the left are more like, oh, they... These people on the right hate education and stuff like that. And it couldn't really be further from the truth for the most part. There are sure some dumbasses out there, you know. But uh, there's no point in going to get a degree and be many thousands of dollars in debt, which I am. Uh, you shouldn't be really in debt when you go to a college like Berea, but I had some different circumstances. Uh, one being no help from my family. Uh, a couple more being uh, not getting a summer job, you know, while I was there babysitting my younger sister and uh, doing some travel. I got to go to Ghana and West Africa and uh, the Bahamas and Mexico, Hawaii, a few different types of things with the, through the school and stuff. So maybe I have, you know, uh, different circumstances than most people that go there. But most anybody I know that goes to college anymore just has like thousands of dollars in debt. And I say that is ludicrous, absolutely ludicrous. There is no reason at all that you should go and get an education and be that much in debt uh, for it. Um, with the internet, the way that it is, you can pretty much learn anything that you want to learn just by applying yourself. And I really, really fucking mean that. Um, there are professors who put their whole college classes online. You can watch the recitals of uh, any piece, pretty much, that you're looking for, you know. I remember, you know, my, my teacher uh, um, had me learn a few pieces. Uh, one of them was like... It's an Elliott Carter timpani piece, Canaries. Uh, has a tons of tons of metric uh, modulations in it. Just a beast of a piece, and I love that piece. Uh, it's great. And when he was uh, coming up, you know, it was like you just you had the music, and you just had to learn it. You just had to play it, and that was you didn't really maybe know how it sounded. You couldn't go to YouTube and find you know a bunch of copies of it. You know, different versions of people doing it or whatever. Uh, but nowadays, man, it's not like that at all. I I can go and look up like fifteen versions of Canaries in two seconds, and. Uh, and be like, oh, that one sucks, or oh, that guy did this thing wrong, obviously, because I've watched, you know, and, and stuff. So there's really no reason uh, now, you know, to, to put yourself into that much debt. Get a fucking, like, shitty job and find a place where you can set your drums up or buy a practice kit or something like that. And, man, just chop out. You know, I, I learned more in high school uh, just by going and looking on the Internet, you know, finding transcriptions of great drummers. I used to look up, like, Steve Gadd transcriptions all the time, Travis Barker, John Bonham. Uh, so it was like some of my big dudes, Stuart Copeland, of course, so don't forget him, that was like a huge, huge influence, so, God, it's just, man, it's not worth it to go to college, waste your fucking money, and have a piece of paper, uh, unless, this is, this is the unless here, if you want to go and teach college, or teach high school, or teach some of that stuff, then it's just not even a question, you have to. Uh, I wanted to just play drums, and so uh, maybe I made the wrong fucking choice if I go to college. Uh, now, I got to have a lot of other fun in college, you know, uh, doing some uh, crazy shit that uh, maybe I shouldn't talk about on here, you know. Uh, um, a lot of experimenting, we'll call it, you know, if you, I'm sure you guys know what I mean. And, uh, and, and those opportunities maybe you couldn't get uh, uh, as safely, I could even say, without going to college, you know, because it's like, you know, if you're going to 
experiment, I'm trying to be pretty vague here, don't incriminate myself, but if you're going to do some experimentation, you know, then uh, if you're just like on the street, just like experimenting with who to get your experiments from, <laughs> then uh, you, might, uh, you might not end up in a good spot, you know. But if you're in a college setting, it's like, for the most part, you know, it's like, pretty pretty easy to get whatever you're trying to get out of college, you know. Uh, now I got to go to Bonnaroo and stuff like that with some friends, do some road trips and things like that, and uh, dabble and, uh, you know, all that kind of thing. Uh, but uh, anymore, man, I just can't can't in my heart tell, tell young students to go out and do it unless they're dead set on being a teacher. If you want to be a teacher, that's a whole different thing. You got to go the route, you know. And a good example of that would be uh, my teacher, Trip Bratton, uh, we're on par as far as the, the way that a school would see this. You know, he's like way older than I am. He has way more playing experience. He's a freaking musical genius as far as I'm concerned. But we both have a bachelor's degree. So is he going to teach a college class? It's going to be a fucking lot harder for him to go teach a college class than somebody who, uh, say, has a master's and a Ph.D. and all that stuff. Um, a while back there was a college... Uh, uh, position that opened up to head the uh, ethnomusicology program, and anybody that knows Trip knows that he's deep into that shit. He's been to Suriname and Ghana and studied with some masters, Yaya Diallo, uh, Midao Gideon Foley Alarwoyi, big ups to Gideon, my man. Um, Gideon's a great guy, and uh, so he, Trip is like living that shit. He's studied with these dudes. He understands all that stuff. But when it came time to select somebody for a college position, did he get that shit? Absolutely not, because he got a bachelor's degree. And they chose somebody who had, like, multiple master's degrees uh, in, uh, what did she have bachelor's or master's in? Like, uh, like, xylophone rags and, like, Scottish pipe band snare drumming, which is badass. I love that shit. But my point being, you know, was it fair? In my opinion, not really. As far as I know, that lady still uses a transcription that I gave her from an African rhythm, and I got a bachelor's, and she's got a master's. So, anyways, that's about all, guys. Just want to throw that out there. Hadn't done one of these kind of things in a while, so I thought I would do one uh, right now. Peace.